we're in Minnesota. We just had a kid and it's getting really cold. In fact, last week it was down to two below zero, negative two. And we've been staying at my parents' house because our RV is in the shop. Um, before that, we were yard camping and we have hookups here. But the RV's been in the shop since the day before we had the baby. And now it's done. It's been a few weeks because we had some, just some typical repairs and upkeep. So we went in and got, got some things done. We're gonna go pick it up. And it's gonna be dark when I, when I come back, but we're gonna hook up for the night and then load everything up, get well rested before we take off for Virginia. It's gonna be, uh, we're, we're very excited for the trip, but it's gonna be terrible because we're leaving with a two-week-old, three-week-old, and a two-year-old, which means we're gonna be stopping a lot. We're gonna be, not have a lot of warning before she starts crying, and then I have to find somewhere with the fifth wheel to pull over, and then um, feed her, which is gonna wake up the two-year-old if she's sleeping. So I might drive through the night, or at least as much as possible, so tonight I'll get a lot of sleep and then uh, we're just gonna try to drive as much as possible the first night. So we'll see, we'll, we'll play by ear. We've got some flexibility, we have reservations at the Thousand Trails Chesapeake Bay uh, RV Resort in, in Virginia, but it's flexible. Um, and then we'll get there and go from there. But I'm gonna pick up the RV. We had, the, we had quite a few things done. Our heating unit, um, we have an instant hot water heating unit and that had to be repaired, something had gone out. Uh, we also had um, something repaired in the floor and the fresh water tank heater uh, and there was a hole cut in the underbelly that they repaired as well and I think that was it so gonna go pick it up I'm excited one of the things I absolutely hate doing is Danielle wants to go to specific restaurants when we travel like we were just trying to go to a chick-fil-a and the problem is we are at a shopping center so there's a target and all these places right around here but to turn in especially on a weekend during lunch hour Wow, hairy, and it probably wasn't the smartest idea, but I got suckered into it, so we did it. In case you were wondering, the Chick-fil-A was worth it. It was so good, and Ella got to run around in the play area, so she burnt off a lot of energy, and now she's gonna nap. Now it's time to hit the road and not hit anybody on our way out. Last night we stayed at a Kmart. We tried to stay at a truck stop, but all the spots were filled up. But this Kmart had uh, a few RVs and a bunch of trucks. So it was good. It was really good. Okay, I think we're all loaded up, ready to go. Let's take off. We're actually going from here to a timeshare that Danielle's parents have. Uh, instead of going camping and they've got use it or lose it points that they don't use so we're gonna use so they don't lose and we're gonna go fill up at that pilot truck stop right there and jump back on the freeway got a fresh DVD for Ella in there got our DVD player there that's turning on so we stopped we're right here outside of the Target but it's a whole shopping complex a huge complex because we had to eat somewhere. The kids were ready to get out and get changed. And the biggest thing was Ella had to get out and stretch and run around. So we made a smart decision this time. And we went and we ate at CC's Pizza. And then after CC's Pizza, we stopped at Petco. And Petco, uh, we let, well, while well, the baby was being changed and fed by Danielle, I let Ella run around in Petco and burn off all that extra energy. One of the big challenges in pulling into a big shopping center is the other cars. So I always try to see if there's like a back entrance or somewhere because especially taking a left, sometimes it can get pretty tight if there's not a dual lane. 